understanding the phrase metal stand in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, metal stand. This phrase is common in sports contexts, but it also has broader uses and meanings. Whether you're a language learner, a sports enthusiast, or just curious, this video is for you. Let's explore what metal stand means and how you can use it in different scenarios. The term metal stand refers to a physical platform used during award ceremonies, primarily in sports events. It's where athletes stand to receive their medals. Typically, there are three levels. The highest is for the gold medalist, first place, followed by slightly lower levels for the silver, second place, and bronze, third place, medalists. This is a universal symbol in sports for recognizing achievement and ranking. Medal stand isn't just limited to sports. It's often used metaphorically to describe a position of honor or achievement in various fields. For example, in business, being on the metal stand might mean a company is among the top in its industry. It symbolizes excellence and recognition in a broader sense. The concept of a metal stand carries significant cultural weight. It's associated with pride, achievement, and national honor in international competitions like the Olympics. When athletes stand on the medal stand, it's not just a personal victory. It often represents their country's success and is a moment of national pride. In everyday English, you might hear medal stand in various contexts. Sports commentary, the athlete hopes to be on the medal stand. Business and academia. Their innovation has put them on the metal stand in the tech industry. Colloquial speech. You made the metal stand of parenting today with how you handled that situation. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase, metal stand, in all its nuances. It's a phrase that celebrates achievement, whether on the sports field or in other areas of life. Remember, Language is not just about words, but the stories and contexts they carry. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.